Hey guys, Shaper1000 here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Sky Viper Journey Pro. Stick around, let's see how well it does. This is the Sky Viper Journey Pro. Okay. Now uh, this is what we got really cheap, but now for those of you that you know you'll probably end up buying a new one if you like it. It's ninety-eight dollars through Walmart's website. I don't know if they've got them at the store. I know they do sell some drones right out of the store, but uh, you go online, you can get this for ninety-eight bucks. Okay, so you know it comes with start out. You know it comes with your drone, of course. Alright. Comes with your flying guide. Of course the controller. And this piece here, I'll show you how to put it on the controller. This is what holds your cell phone. Of course it's not going to hold a tablet, but you get four extra blades. And also if you buy this new you can get free parts up to one year worth of free parts. Yeah, free replacement parts for one year. So that's pretty good. Comes with a screwdriver so you can change your blades. And also to take the back off of your, your controller. Okay. And it comes with a battery for the drone. The battery is a 3.7 1200 milliamp hour battery so that's a pretty good battery so apparently they've upgraded from what I'm, I'm getting online okay so your uh, here's your you know, like instructions they call it a flying guide okay so right here you know it shows you about how to change the uh, how to change the blades if you need to replace damaged blades, which I'm sure I will sooner or later. This this does take uh, three AAA batteries. Uh, my other one took four AA's. But you know, you just take that screw out and your batteries are underneath there. I've already got the batteries in this. All right. Now I'll show you how to put this on. Real simple. Just stick it on there like that, and it's in. It's locked in. Right there. So, all right. There's that. But it's always best to uh, show you how to charge the battery. Oh, it it did come with the with the charging cable for it, the uh, USB charging cable. It's in the garage because I was charging the battery. So, it shows you how to hook it up. And the light's green when you plug it, or red when you plug it in. And when it's charged, it's green. Now, depending if it's ran, if you ran it all the way down, it takes about an hour to an hour and a half to charge. Uh, that's with it clear dead, all the way dead. So, green. And it's got, you know got your fail safe a lot of things that it does I'll read some of the things when the drone turns upside down the motors will stop spinning when the drone gets out of range of the controller it will begin to return to its home location if the controller reconnects press home button to cancel the return and this is your your home button right there and we'll get we'll get to that here in a minute. When the drone's battery is low, the LEDs on the drone will begin to blink rapidly and a tone is played continuously on the controller. The drone will begin to return to its home location. Press the home button to cancel. When the drone's battery is depleted, the drone will automatically land itself in its current position. The automatic landing cannot be interrupted with the controller. 
Okay, so that's pretty cool. So, so let's um, let's go over this over this controller. Okay. Now here you got your you know you got your throttle. You got your up down, rotate left, rotate right. This is your direct directional joystick, and, and that's another thing. It's very comfortable. See, my other one was a big square, but this is this is kind of like you know like a game controller. So it's pretty cool. This is your directional stick. That's forward, backwards, left, and right. right. And then, of course, this is your power button. Turn it on and off. This is your launch button. If you flip that up there, it automatically takes off. When you want it to land, you hit that, and it will automatically land. And this is for your stunt mode. That's normal. And that's your sport. That means, uh, so there's two different... It'll like this is your normal mode for normal flying. If you're going to be doing stunts or aerobatics, you hit your uh, sport, and it, it's really fast. This thing is super fast. Um, but we'll we'll check all that out here in a little while. Okay. So, and all this it tells you everything about this drone. Okay. You know, it's got high performance flight modes and, uh, and uh, position hold also, which is a hover. Okay, the position hold. Position hold uses GPS to maintain a perfect hover. It also prevents drifting when you have no hands on the controller. Position hold is active in both normal and sport mode, so that's pretty cool. Now... Like I said, I've had this out and I have messed with it a little bit and it seems to, it will hover. It hovers pretty good. Now, it's a drone. It's a very light drone. So, you'll get every once in a while, you know, you, just like in a plane, an airplane, you're going to get some turbulence. It'll move a little bit. But that's okay. All right? Um, but, yeah, it, it's... And like I said, it, it shows you everything about it. Position hold and uh, also the GPS... Uh, on this thing you know it actually looks for satellites all right um, when I had it out Saturday I was picking up 17 satellites up there at our park where we was trying this out okay so there's that now let's let's go to a little bit on here now here's where you want to put your battery in right here that's out of my older or my other drone which I fabricated to make this work in this drone. So, all right. So you're going to take this. She had to insert the battery. Just slide it in there, just like that. And you put your latch down. If you only have the one battery, you can charge it without taking it out every time. Just plug it in there, and then it will plug in right here. Okay. So now. Like I say, the guards, these guards, you don't have to have tools to take these guards off. They just pop off and on, so. Uh, and here is your camera. It's 720 high def, so it is full screen, but now this has almost a 90 degree So there you go. And you got to manually do that, but I usually keep it right about there. But it depends on what you're filming and, and all that. So, but you know, it's not, you can't do it with a controller, but hey, it's a hundred dollar drone, you know, you can't complain about that. All right, so, and it also has, that's pretty much on that, you know. Uh, I do wish it had um, some little rubber, rubber pieces right here for the landing, but that's okay because see, uh, I think the reason why they don't is because some some guys like to bring this this thing in real fast, like down the road, and it kind of like whoosh, scrapes along the road. It's pretty cool. Maybe that's why they don't. I don't know, but you know it's fine. It's a hundred dollar drone again. Um, now it also has okay. It's got return to home, which once the drone has GPS locked, and you'll know right here where it says GPS. It'll blink red and green, red and green, while it's looking for satellites. And then as soon as it's got them locked on or locked on to at least one of them, that green light will stay lit, the red light will be out, letting you know that 
Uh, so it is set to the current location when you launch. So your home button, when you want it to go home, wherever that thing launched from, it's using GPS, it'll go back to that. So if you walk away 50 feet while you're watching your drone fly or whatnot, and you hit the home button, it's not going to come to you. It'll go to where you had it take off from. So with a simple press of the button and that that again that's this button right here you just hit that button and that thing will come right right back to where it took off I usually try to stay right where I'm at so uh, during this return flight you will still have altitude and direction control to avoid obstacles because you know it doesn't have sensors in it like if you're you know if there's a tree or a telephone pole there or a flagpole you know you're going to want to watch make sure it's going to go around or make sure that you take it around it if it seems to be going towards something so the return flight can be canceled by pressing the flight mode or land buttons so that's cool it's just right there it's your land button when using the sky viper when using the Sky Viper Video Viewer 2.0 app, you can return to your device's GPS location instead. So that's pretty cool. Um, it also has Follow Me mode, and we'll get to that here in a minute. What that does is you can walk around and this thing will stay with you. Okay. Also, this has... right up under here right there has a place for your SD card and it takes a micro mini I got 32 gig it'll hold up 32 gig and you just push that in there that's what I like about that okay or you can stream to your phone okay whoops now let's let's get to the app let's check the app out okay Let's get this on here. We'll go to the app. That's what the app looks like right there. Uh, it doesn't have real good reviews. I think it's a 3.6 reviews on the reviews, but uh, I, I like I like it better than the, the Drocon app for my other drone. So alright, now let's see. Let's go ahead and Let's see, there's, it's also got a tutorial and support up here. This is where, this is everything I've took pictures with this thing, so it does have your library there. Now let's plug this in, and let's uh, pair it up so I can show you the, alright. Now we're going to hit this, and there, Sky Viper, we are connected, so let's go back. And, okay, we're going to skip that. I forget what the hell was that. Anyway, and of course that's just saying. All right, now this is, you know, you, flight authorization. I have the authorization, if required, to fly in this location. So you're going to have to hit that if you want to get into your app. There you go. There you go. Connection to the controller has been lost. Okay, so it's telling me that the controller's not on. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But we don't need the controller on as of right now. So there's that. All right. Now we are connected. We're inside. So we're inside the house in this little number right there. That is the satellites. We're inside the house. Picked up four satellites, five satellites. So it's still searching. But now also, if you look here, this oops, this is a. that is a compass Can you see that moving when I turn the drone see it? so that's your compass that is pretty cool so if you're out flying somewhere and you get lost you can use this for a compass to get back home now this is the follow me mode I was telling you about when you put it in that mode when you click that mode that thing you can walk around and it will follow you but you have to make sure that there's no obstacles in the way All right. So, and this is telling you right here how far, like this will tell you how far up and down you are. This will tell you like, 
like which direction like if it say that way you know but this will tell you up and down I've had it up to 147.7 feet so far at half throttle so and this will let you know GPS your GPS is on so also you have your uh, there's your record button and there's your uh, still image button you've got a map you can also download maps on this thing and you can also when you do that like you download a map of where you're at you can set pinpoints alright and you can set say six pinpoints where you want this this thing to go alright and then you hit launch and this thing will actually go to each one of them pinpoints by itself till it gets to the last one then it comes home you don't even have to be touching the controller you can set it down and go have a sandwich and this thing will be filming for you just make sure there's no trees or buildings around okay now also I wanted to show you about this here okay this there's your um, video button and your stunt button now, if you're not using your phone to fly this thing, which you don't have to, if you're just wanting to fly around and stuff, you don't need to use your phone. And let's say you want to take a still image. Well, all you can do is click video, right? Well, what you can do is you can go into this app here. And under settings, let's see here. Um, Yeah, over here on this side, you can say what each one of these buttons do. So as you can see, all right, I've got the top shoulder, all right, as the uh, wait a minute, bottom shoulder, not. Oh, that's 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 in the other mode. That's that's in the fast mode. Okay, all right. So let's put it into uh, the normal mode. Let it do its thing. Alright, there we go. No, I was right. Okay, you can set all this stuff. Alright, see, I've got it on GPS hold. Alright, for the normal. And the sport is on sport. You can have it on GPS, but for sport, you know, you're just going to be flying it yourself anyway. So, the top button, top shoulder, it's called, as if you're looking at it this way, the top button says stunt on it but you can change it to photo and that's what I did so when I when I hit that the the stunt, stunt button it will take a picture a still image and then the bottom button you can have you can change it for stunt photo you can change those buttons to do whatever you want and of course I've got it on video for the bottom button so the bottom button I can uh, take my video and top button I can take my still image so that way, in case I'm just out flying around and I don't have this, I can still, I can still uh, take still images. You know. Now this, this here, this one right there, this is pretty cool. This gives you all that information, and when you hit export, it puts it onto your phone, so you can you can keep it. Uh, so, like the max altitude we we had this thing up to. 147.7 feet and of course the lowest one was zero feet that's because I snapped a picture a still image picture in the garage so and then the lowest we had it up to was 92.3 see that and it tells you you know um, um, three videos taken Photos taken, max altitude, air time. I've had this thing up for 12 minutes and 19 seconds on this one battery on one charge. So that's, and it was windy. So that's pretty good. I've made 11 flights. So I love this. This is cool. It's your flight activity. And like I said, each one of these you can export right into your phone. And you can save it. So, And then again, that one there is for your, you know... There's the pictures I have taken, there's the video, and that's loading from the SD card, which I've got it to go to SD card, 
and there's what's on my card so that's a little bit about it now what do you say we take this thing outside and um, let's see what it does okay guys I got you sitting here in the shade and I'm going to go out here and the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to set this down and we're going to hit the launch button which will be right there and I'll show you Now I'm going to hit the video button. All right, and if you watch this over here, can you see that? I can't see nothing here. Okay, we are now recording. Okay, now let's hit the launch button and see what. There it goes. Now it's hovering. It also has a calibration through your settings on your uh, on the app, so you can see what it's doing there. It is recording, and let's hit the top button. We'll take a still image. Okay. Now let's take this up a little higher, and we'll stop it. Okay, right now we are 18 feet in the air. Okay. There it is. Take it up a little higher. Now let's turn it. Okay, then we can go sideways and forwards and backwards, and I'll leave it there. Now, what we're going to do, guys, let's see if you can see this. All right, let's hit the land button and see what happens, okay? It is coming in for a landing. And it will power off by itself. And it just did. Okay guys, this is what I was talking about. It's trying to find GPS. It's trying to find satellites. And up here, where you at? It has found 14. Okay. So, and we're locked on green. So we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and launch this. And we'll see if it'll come back home. Okay, so let's hit the launch button. And as you can see, we're not doing anything else. And it's getting ready to take off. All right. So there it is. Now let's take it over across the street. All right, now let's hit the home button. Okay, we hit the home button, and there it is. So it came back towards us. Now let's hit the land button while well, it's going to land. So it is within a couple feet. So that's pretty cool, and it'll shut down. Now let me go get it. Okay, let's get... Let's get some hovering pictures, okay? So, let's go ahead and we're going to hit this button over here. Turn the video on. We are recording. Let's hit launch. And there it goes. Now, let's take it over here. I'm backwards. All 
All right, I hit the home button and came back home. All right, now I'm going to go over here in the shade. Well, I'll get it up in there first. All right, let's launch it. GPS hold is on. So there's that. Now let's take it up a little higher. And we are recording. Right now we're at 23 feet. And it's holding steady there. Pretty steady. A little windy. So I'm going to go out here and play with this for a minute and get you guys some footage. Okay, guys, let's, let's bring this back down. I know you can't see it right now, but you will. Now I'm going to bring it home. Hit the home button. Alright, it's right over top of where we started. Right there. And it's coming home. So, let's watch it come down together. You see, I don't have the remotes in my hand. It's landing on its own. There's the remote. So it will come within a few feet of where it took off. There it is. And it has landed. Alright, so. Not bad. Let's see how high we had it up. Okay. So we're going to go to this. We're going to go to this. All right, we just had it 66 feet up. All right. That's still the max altitude that I, I've had it up. This thing's been in the air 24 minutes so far. Let's see. So today's date. There we go. So we had it 66 feet in the air. Let's see if it recorded. We've got to go to the SD card. And it's loading. See it imports it just like just like you would put it on your computer. And there we go. So we've got all this all this footage up here. So and I think I took a still image here. Yeah, I did right there. Okay, so let's go back in the house. And let's do our final thoughts on this thing and see what we think of it. Okay, guys. So, we're back in the house. Overall, the drone for $100. If you want to get a, 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 a beginner drone, I think so far this is the drone for you. To learn on it's very easy to control uh, you do have to watch the wind of course but it does stay pretty stable we had gusts out there um, I did check the weather we had gusts up to 24 miles per hour so it will get a little wobbly on you sometimes coming down you know it'll hit some turbulence um, it is light but all in all I give it a two thumbs up uh, the controller is very comfortable. I like it. Uh, I do like everything about it. Very good. And I like the fact that if you buy it new, you get your um, monkey stop moving. Uh, you get free replacement parts for a year. That includes shipping and handling charges. 
so see bottom for details and that's all down in here so and there's the battery that comes with it you can get extra battery packs extra chargers you can get everything you need for this you can get extra motors um, if you've got a motor go bad eventually that stuff's going to happen if you use them a lot but I think uh, uh, what I what I don't like about it is the gears right in there those gears they're open okay so you can get more stuff in it but hopefully it being open it may blow it out as you can see it's a little dirty in there so I mean you just got to be careful with that um, I wish that was kind of closed off a little more being down here in Florida with all the sand but you can get all these parts like I said and they're cheap why aren't you moving so anyway that and the app I don't know why it's only got 3.6 stars, but I do love the app on it. Um, the thing does run good. It is fairly steady for being in this kind of wind. Um, actually, it's very steady. Uh, I did have a couple little... I didn't have it calibrated at first, and you can tell because it wants to go different places. Also, on your app, it will tell you GPS hold. And if you want to hover or, and you want it to come back home, make sure that that says GPS hold on it. And make sure it's, you know, it's activated so that way you're locked on to a satellite and it'll, it'll come back. If not, it's going to want to move around on you. And you just hold it there until, and it doesn't take long, and then it'll, it'll find another satellite lock on to it. I love the audible sounds that this makes. It'll let you know different things. I love the way uh, the lights will start blinking differently. They'll blink really fast. When, uh, when your battery's getting low, also on your app, it will come across and tell you battery level's extremely low. So, uh, let's see, what was the Saturday? I went, uh, the last flight I took out there at the park, I went ahead and let the battery run. I just let it hover until the battery just depleted itself. And the thing, it was over, oh, about 50 feet. It came back in the general area within a few feet, which is very impressive. Within six feet, six, eight feet, uh, it did come down and it did land on its own. All right, now, as for the footage, I'm going to throw the footage that we just recorded in at the end of here. So you'll be seeing that here in just a second. So... That being said, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Uh, this thing will do so much more. There's so much more calibration on it that you should do every time you take it out and fly it, and it only takes a couple minutes. Um, there's so much more this can do that I just can't get go over in one video, but if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you and answer them to the best of my ability. So... All right, so enjoy the uh, footage we, we had. We, we had it up 14 feet, uh, 39 feet, I think. I'll put that in the, you know, uh, I'll let you know which one you're looking at. And we had it up to 66 feet. So, and I didn't want to go real high here because of all the trees. If something would happen, if I lose GPS lock or something and it drops down into a tree 60 feet in air, I'm kind of screwed, so I wanted to be careful here. But we did get it 66 feet up in the air. So enjoy the clips. And again, thanks for watching. And Monkey's going to say she's out. <laughs> and Shade Bear, I'm going to say the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Enjoy the clips of the uh, drone footage that we took together.